Hi everybody, welcome to our little devotional today. Um, so this Sunday is Popcorn Sunday. So I'm really excited, I love popcorn so much. I have some popcorn here. So I kind of just wanted to, you know, prepare for this. Um, and I also, I, I love popcorn. So this gave me an opportunity to uh, eat some popcorn and then talk about something that I love. Um, so I have some popcorn kernels here. I have some kernels set out on the lid. I have a ton of popcorn kernels. My dad is a children's pastor and he just can't say no to the Boy Scouts. So we have popcorn everywhere. Um, and he brought some, <laughs> he keeps mailing us popcorn. Um, and then I have some microwave popcorn here. I prefer air pop, but microwave is pretty good too. Um, so, you know, we all, it, popcorn starts off is like these little kernels, right? They're hard, they're tasteless, and they're not very good to eat. I don't recommend eating them. And then you put them in the microwave and they're exposed to this heat. And even if you like make it on the stove, they're still exposed to this heat, right? And then some of the popcorn kernels pop and they blossom into this really delicious, um, if you add salt, it would be salty snack, like just something that everybody loves, right? And when it pops, you could just smell it everywhere. It just fills the aroma, fills the room. It's so delicious. Um, but some of the kernels don't pop and some remain hard and tasteless and some even burn. And uh, those pieces are not very good to eat. Um, so I kind of just want to, you know, talk about how we can, you know, maybe think of popcorn um, as it applies to us as Christians. You know, we start off as these kernels, right? And God, you know, puts these circumstances, these situations in our lives, um, which we can compare to like the heat to be putting on this, put on the stove or put in the microwave. You know, God puts these things through us or in our lives. And, um, I just want to say that it's not the circumstance that you're in that defines you. It doesn't, like, it's hard, you know? The circumstances are hard, but it's about how you come out of it. And, you know, you can, um, you know, you can think about quarantine, right? And COVID-19. This is a really difficult time, and there's no denying that. Um, but it's not about the circumstance. It's about how you come out of it. And I'm just going to read some scripture um, from... James chapter 1 verses 2 through 4 and it says consider it pure joy my brothers and sisters whenever you face trials of any kind because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance let perseverance finish its work so that you may be, be may be mature and complete lacking nothing that's kind of interesting right if you uh, listen to our Sunday service uh, two weeks ago, you will remember that we talked about perseverance. We talked about pushing through and leaning on God for uh, leaning on his truth and understanding and just leaning on him because we are nothing without him. Um, so, you know, this, this reminds me, like he says uh, in James, it says it's, this verse starts off, consider it pure joy. That's kind of interesting. We don't necessarily think of trials as pure joy, but you can always think, okay, yeah, this is really tough, but I'm gonna come out of this stronger and better than ever. So we have a choice. We can come out of this um, this time, the circumstance, or even you know any circumstance that you're in, and we can still be these small popcorn kernels. We can still be hard and our hearts will not be changed. You know, change happens when popcorn is put in the microwave. When we go through circumstances, change happens. So we can either come out feeling burnt and I just dropped some. <laughs> we can either come out of it feeling burnt and, um, and still hard and tasteless or we can come out of it blossomed and popped and, um, and just, you know, on fire for Christ and uh, what he's done for us. And um, I mentioned earlier how popcorn just has this aroma about it, right? Like when you make popcorn, everybody in the house knows that you're making popcorn, right? Everybody knows it. And they are all attracted to this, this smell, this aroma. Um, and that, that's kind of like what it's like, you know, having Christ in your heart, you know? If, if you just exude Christ and are just exploded with passion 
for him and for his people, um, people are going to be attracted to that. And people are going to say, there's something different about that person. And they're going to want to know what that change is. They're going to want to know what happened in your life and how Christ saved you from that situation. They're going to want to know. And that can open up a conversation to share Christ to somebody who's maybe, um, maybe hasn't gone through the heat yet, who maybe hasn't gone through those circumstances, or maybe they have, and maybe they came out burnt and, you know, still hard and tasteless. And, you know, this can open the door for them to blossom and, um, again, just to be on fire for Christ. So I just want to leave that with you today. And remember, Popcorn Sunday! Is this Sunday we uh, we still want to hear from you guys and we you know love all the comments that we've been getting um, so again don't feel afraid to uh, reach out to us and we will see you on popcorn Sunday <laughs>